Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So there's a few passages, a few different things he mentioned. Same same concept. So a person mentions, he says that in a certain book, I read the ahwal and the situation of the pious people from the before. So he performs salah and he performs salah and he faints and conscious. Somebody is doing, has so much worry about the hereafter and all of this. And I don't have this. So Hakim Sa'ad Rahmatullah Ali mentions that he even has a tan Rahmatullah Ali mentions that he, he has a tan Rahmatullah Ali he says that it's useless trying to figure out somebody's mamulat. So he's not talking about even the past because he's even present. Because every person is different. So you can't say, oh he done this, I want to do this much. I mentioned some sentiments as well. That when you read the stories of the, of the ulama present, even of the past, what you do is don't try to in, in, inculcate the juz'iyah into your life, the furu into your life. Don't say, oh he is only eat one roti. And some salad, and that's it. What you do? He was not obsessed with food. So for me, let me not be obsessed with food. And what can I do? He used to spend two hours a day. Well, that's a, that's a juicy the f- two hours. What's the asal? He never said, oh, sleep too much. So for me, I can do seven hours. So I'm not going to take more than seven hours. When I when my sleep's finished, I'll wake up and get on doing the stuff. I'm not going to lay around in bed. You understand? He used to read for twelve hours in non-stop. So don't try to do 12 hours reading non-stop. What are you trying to say? Well, he said, read a lot. How much can I manage? I can run half an hour with five minute breaks after every word for up to three hours. So don't implement the, the juice. You don't try to copy minwa and exactly because everybody's different. You understand the principles. Okay, he was, he was very absent from the dunya, very hardworking, very honest. And according to you and your circumstances, you, you can inculcate those in our lives. And here he's saying as well, that when you read the stories of the ulama of the past, you just take, again, the asal, that lots of tilawah. And not allowed for me is two Jews, maybe, maybe three Jews, maybe Ramzan five Jews, maybe Ramzan seven Jews, maybe Ramzan ten Jews, depending on your ability. Maybe three, different people have different ability. Half is not half is how fast they read, how many hours, what the occupation they have, whatever duties they have. And it goes that because in our time, you know, people don't have the capacity. So don't look at those and try to copy those. It's not you want to do that. So if you want to learn something, you want to follow something, then what you do is people who are present in your time, them and also not everybody, take mashura and according to their mashura and act. Yeah, so if you're trying to, especially nawafil, doing too many nawafil, um, it can um, cause more harm than good. So again, it's not, it's not again, as everybody can take it to be only, isn't it? Or don't do any nawafil. You're saying those who are very, have a lot of zeal to the ibadah, and be a bit cautious. And don't try to compare yourself to everybody else. Everybody, you, you best compare, compare yourself to yourself, compare yourself to yesterday. How can I get? And you read those stories, you get an idea of what you need to do. Like, you should do zikr for three hours. Well, I don't do it. I don't even say, Allah, la ilaha illallah, Muhammad Allah, even once in a day. I don't say, Astaghfirullah, once in a day. So, I need a lot of zikr according to my capacity. You know, so I'm trying to do the exact same thing, you're, gonna, you're not going to work out. And even many of those stories that we read of, many of the al-ulama, the akabir, and the salihun, who used to do a lot of those kind of ibadah, tilawah, zikr, mutala, it starts off from less. And slowly, slowly, it builds up. So we only read the last part of their life. You understand? So like, they didn't, they weren't, it wasn't an eight-year-old boy reading uh, 15 Jews a day. Pretty funny. They were probably reading like one page a day, two pages a day. And then after they got more mature, more enthusiasm, less commitments, then slowly, slowly increase. You understand? So everything you have to is very careful, very careful in the I don't over self. Because what happens? The maqsood has a tanrah from the right? The maqsood is takthir of ibadah. You understand? However, with the sharia, see, implies, shows taqlil, is because that taqlil has with takthir. Are you funny? So the maqsood is to do lots of ibadah. But if you do too much ibadah at one time, what's going to happen? Burn out, finished. So when you see the Sharia is, is, is telling us to do less, that means it's do less right now because this will benefit in the long run. Do you understand? So when the Prophet is doing a lot of ibadah and telling, to, telling, telling many people to do less, is why? Because he knows his doing a lot is not going to ever drop off. Are you following? He's telling the whole night, it's not going to drop off. But somebody starts doing it all night, he says, you can't manage this, you're going to drop off, so you do less. You just, you just do two rakats. You just do four rakats. Like Abu Hurairah and Abu Dhar, one, perform return and go to sleep. Don't wake up, you can't wake up, it's not your capacity. Because everybody is different. So even though you want to do as much as possible, as, so each person you want to get the most out of them. And when you limit somebody, it's because limiting them now will be longer in the long, in the long run. You understand? I mean, like, for example, if you're doing hips, it's like, oh, I learned three pages. Well, you learned three pages, but you're not gonna, when you come to revision, you're not going to know three pages. So you're going to one page a day. If you learn one page a day properly, over 20 days, in 59 Mus'haf, you finish in 20 days, and then in two or three days, you do the whole juice again, and in 22 days, you'll finish. A person is three, day, three, three, three pages one day and they five the next day and he spends the next like two, three weeks just trying to package, package up those eight pages. So at the end of the day, you end up doing less. So the maqsood is to, so the maqsood of the, whole, the teacher and the student is to finish his as quickly as possible. But sometimes limiting the amount of sabbat you learn 
It's not that teachers want you to finish, it's because the teacher wants you to limit you so that it becomes more in the long run. You understand? So that's what he's saying here. So when you're doing a wafil, be careful to not overwork yourself.